Hey guys, what is up? It's Dachi, you're back again with another video, and today we are going to be looking at the first mob in the Minecraft mob vote of 2021, okay? It seems cool so far, but is it good enough to be added into Minecraft in itself? We'll find that out today. So, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, let's start with the art style of this particular mob, okay? So, in this, it seems that its design is mainly based off of the moss block in Minecraft, so maybe it will spawn in mossy areas and you have to drag it along? I don't know. But so far, it looks more of like a ghosty sort of character. Like, in its whole design in itself, it looks like a fully moss goat. It looks like a Pokemon. Let, let's be fair, it looks like a Pokemon. But other than that, it looks really cool. I love the actual design of it. Of course, we haven't really seen it in its full sort of state. A lot of people have actually made different designs of what they think it will look like in real Minecraft. But a lot of them, we can't really be sure. But we are told that it does look cute, so we need to take a look out for that. Okay, moving on to the actual things it can do, not much, okay? This cute green ghost Pokemon thing doesn't seem to do much so far. It's like a platypus. But um, what it can do is if you bring it into a dark room, it will get angry if mobs can spawn in that room. So it's a good detection system for where you should light up your base and not. But other than that, it's pretty much useless. Although it is cute and I believe that you can uh, take it along with you as like a pet. So if you can tame one of these things, I feel like that would up the sort of ratings of this. But so far, it's pretty much useless. But it's cute, so we're just going to ignore the fact that it's useless. Don't get me wrong, people do need to light up their base and stuff, but I feel like there's other ways you can tell if your base needs to light up, especially without having to anger the, the Pokemon. It's literally just a Pokemon. This is a Pokemon. <laughs> Final thoughts on this mob, in my personal opinion. I would love to see it in the game, but maybe not right now. But as well as that, this mob is fairly passive and I believe with the last Minecraft mob update, the reason that it kind of got a bit bad other than the whole controversy surrounding it was the fact that it was two passives versus an aggressive sort of, an, a, an evil mob, okay? So I believe they would have learnt from their mistake last time. So what we will see with the other two would that they would be passive as well which kind of looking forward to um but other than that this mob pretty cool um it would be cool if it can also describe disguise itself within the moss blocks that would be a good like sort of addition to that but again we already have silverfish that do a similar thing so i don't know i i'd like to see it in minecraft the glare is sort of a strange name for it, um, but other than that, yeah, I think it's good. What are your opinions on it? Um, I will be sure to make sh make another video, a couple of videos actually, on the other mobs in this update. I believe there will only be two more, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, this this mob seems really cool, but. Not right now, I believe. Unless the other mobs are bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, notify. And if this is the first video you've watched by me, please do check out my channel. I post a lot more. Uh, you can check out all the playlists. They're, they're fun to watch, okay? <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!